Hey church, today I wanted to share with you quickly a thought that God gave me yesterday out of Acts chapter 16. And uh, if you know the story in Acts chapter 16, the Bible tells us that Paul and Silas get arrested. Uh, and in verse 23, it says they were severely beaten and then they were thrown in prison. The jailer was ordered to make sure they didn't escape. So he put them in the inner dungeon and clamped their feet in the stocks. Paul and Silas were put in a situation that they had no control over and they were locked in this place of restriction and this place of limitation in the natural. But I love what the very next verse says. At verse 25, it says, Around midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns. They were praising God. And that to me is such a powerful uh, declaration in the middle of a situation that they couldn't control in the natural. They could control what they magnified and what they focused. And we see Paul and Silas beginning to praise God. You know, I want to stir all of us in this time. In, there's a lot of things in the natural that we can't control and a lot of things in the natural that are restricting the way we normally go about life. But we all have a choice what we magnify. The Bible never, never tells us that Paul and Silas were ignoring their situation. I think it would have been pretty impossible for them to ignore the situation they found themselves in. But they still chose to magnify the one who was greater. They chose to magnify God. And you know, there's such power in what we magnify. We don't ignore what's going on in the world, but we just choose to magnify a God who is good and He is good all the time. In fact, the Bible teaches us that God never changes. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. If He had a promise of acceleration for us yesterday, then He sure does have it for us today as well. You see, the Bible says that as they praised the whole prison was shaken, the chains fell off, the doors flung open. And a lot of us skipped through the rest of the story. It's like, yay, Paul and Silas got set free. But that's not what happened immediately. In fact, what happened is all the other prisoners got set free. And then Paul and Silas remained in the prison and saw the jailer and saw his entire family saved. They got to share the love of God with them. They got to preach to them and they got to baptize them. And so I want to encourage us today. We're not ignoring what's going on. We're choosing to magnify God, but also choosing to believe that in the middle of our circumstances, God might just use us to change other people's lives. The Bible says in James chapter 1, consider it pure joy when you go through trials. Not because you go through them, but when you go through them. Again, that's choosing to focus on God. So my challenge for all of us today magnify the Lord, magnify God. He is good and he's got something amazing for you even today. Read through Acts chapter 16, read through James chapter one, let it encourage you. But I wanna finish by coming around a time of prayer right now. God, we thank you that you are good and you are good all the time. We thank you that no weapon formed against us can prosper. We thank you that greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. We thank you that you never change. You're always good. And so God, I thank you in the midst of our circumstances and in the midst of our surroundings, God, that we can still magnify you because your word says that you inhabit the praises of your people. So today, God, we make a choice to magnify you. And God, we know that by inviting you into our lives, God, you can do all things. We give you praise. We give you glory in Jesus' name. Amen.